Before we get going with today's episode, in celebration of Vicious Mustang 2.0 debuting at SEMA 2023, we've done a collaborative effort to make a really cool Vicious Mustang Autotopia LA shirt and hat. So it'll go live on October 31st, Halloween at 5 p.m. at atlamerch.com. I highly recommend if you like the shirt, the hat, or both, atlamerch.com, 5 p.m. when the video goes live on Halloween, October 31st. So let's jump into today's episode. Hey guys, what's up? It's Sean, Autotopia LA. Got my friend Dustin back here from Nostalgia Hot Rods. You know, we've shot with Dustin, what, a good Oh man, it's been five, six times. Six times, I think. Yeah, something like that. You know, like I always follow your stuff, right? You're you're good about throwing stuff up on Instagram. Yeah, we try. Let's kind of see what's up. But then seeing this car, good guys, this last year down in Del Mar. Yes. So it was a definite. You know, yeah, we got to shoot it. You know how I am. Cool. Yeah. Gonna shoot it. I'm not even gonna look at it. Yep. Wait. Yeah. So what we got? 1965 Chevy Corvette. 67 hood, of course, that's modified. The side vents are 67. My, my customer wanted a 67, couldn't find a 67, got a 65. Same guy that owns the Roadrunner, by the way. George owns this too. Is it a clean 65 when you start? It actually was a very nice car. We went down actually right here in this relax, area. Relax, you guys, yeah. relax. <laughs> uh, it was a 327 car, little four speed, uh, ran and drove, been sitting a long time in this guy's garage. We picked this car up for, I wanna say it was like 55 grand. Today, you can't touch one of these bodies for 60, 70, you know, for a runner. And then George, you know, um, he he has a style. We kind of have the same vision. And he's like, Dustin, I want this thing to look like a fucking Batmobile. You know, yeah. I want I want it wide. This and the Roadrunner, as examples, he obviously likes extreme radical. Radical. He's got original cars, too. He could do whatever the heck he wants. Right. So that's one of the, yeah. it's, it's, and I know some of you guys comment this way, yeah. like especially the Roadrunner, right? Yeah. It's, yeah. it's well over a million dollar build. A lot better ways to spend a million. Well, what if you got so many of them <laughs> yeah. that you've spent them every way you want? And yeah, you want and to now spend you're it here. This way too. Yes. You know, it's like yeah. why not? And, I mean, and, hell. And, and that's where he's at. There's a lot of body mods going on, so let's do mechanical yeah. stuff first, yeah, and then for we sure. can dive to that. So we build a lot of Corvettes, right? We wanted to do this one a little bit different. George was on board to do what he wanted to do. We saw the Envision, came up with the rendering, and I said, George, I'm going to build this car for you in nine months. And this car turned out the door in nine months. Now, unlike the Roadrunner, where it took eight years, nine months out the door, debuted it in Del Mar. Let's pop the hood. Yeah, That's, yeah. It's always helpful it. for me, dude. I like seeing what's up under here. Okay. Nice. So, holy yeah. hell. Well, we got uh, 427, big block Chevy, aluminum heads, bow tie heads. This is actually a crate 427 that you can buy from General Motors. We did do a different camshaft, Fitec fuel injection, multi port, stack injection, as you can see. Stacks on stacks, right? Beer me. Which is just beautiful, by yeah. the way. True track, SERP setup. It's all hydraulic roller, two and an eighth primary header tube. For what the motor is, it does well. It runs okay, now you. I know you like big horsepower, so what do you mean? What does it make power-wise? Uh, we actually just picked it up from Fitech. It made yeah. 500 of the rear tire. You but know, it's like a light little Corvette with a short little wheelbase, 500 at the Dude, tire. You're doing all right. We, we just left Fitech, and I was out ripping around in it, and I, this is the first time I've actually got to really drive the car. Yeah. It did good. Smoke coming Boy. out the tires and I mean, yeah, dude, this is beautiful. And it looks like a lot to have to cram in here. Yeah, you know, the original engine bay in these cars weren't very big, but they, they came with a big block. You know, the, the inner fenders, of course, in firewall don't look like this from the factory. We built fenders and a firewall and kind of made things a little bit tighter and made it look like it's, you know, shoehorned in here. And in I here. mean, it um, is, yeah, it yeah. is. And, and we try to make everything clean, you know, and air conditioning and heat and, you know, getting a big radiator for this thing, especially being in Vegas, you know, in the summers. So what are you made up to, transmission, rear end? Um, this has got a, a Tremec T56. You know, we, we love using them. They, they work great. If you want a manual transmission and a six-speed transmission, a Tremec T56 is the way to go. It's got a strange rear end in it. It's on an Art Morrison chassis, independent front, independent rear, running a 355 tire in the rear. Is that how big yeah. that is out there? Yeah. Holy hell, dude. 355 in the rear, 335 in the front. 335 yeah. up front. Yeah. Wow, bro. So, and I wanted to go 345s. We have enough room. What but, are they, uh, 20s? 19s. 19s. 19s, really? So we're running really? a 19 by 12 and a 19 by 13. Probably. And you got some sidewall on there too. Yeah. We built this car. To drive, and when I say drive, that maybe once a month. Yeah. But uh, the wheel and tire package on this thing, Forge Line did for us. They actually came to the shop, and uh, I got them all black. And I was like, <sighs> I gotta send it back. 
you know, we're, we're doing this thing kind of um, Vegas Golden Knight colors. So we sat on back, had the wheels put in gold, and the chassis matches the wheels and, and a lot of the parts. Chassis, engine bay, the stripe, yeah. the wheels. Even in the interior, we brought it into the interior there. Yeah, where, yeah, I yeah see and the, the stitching Yeah, as yeah, well. yeah. And, the, and the stitching's this gold. This is a so. bitchin' car, dude. This is really radical. This is, I'm not a big, C2 it's not Corvette a mass, guy. I'm not, you know. <laughs> I, my favorite was always the C3, honestly. Yeah, yeah. Damn, this is a slick C2, Yeah, bro. you know, we tried, really we tried to keep it's actually not a whole lot of body mods other than the fender flares. Everything else is C2. Flared front fender, rear quarter. We widened and raised the hood an inch and a half up and two inches wider to clear the multi-port injection. To clear so the then, injection. So then, dumb question, but mm -hmm. I'm guessing that's what you have to do then. You have to widen this whole opening. Well, like all, it, all, we, all we did was widen the scoop. Oh, so it's the scoop. I yeah. thought you meant the whole. No, no, not the wide. hood. No, the hood is is stock size. Got it, got it, um, got it. That's why I said it's yeah. a dumb question, yeah, yeah. guys. I and mean, you get a lot of fresh air flowing right through there, yeah. huh? Yeah, and you know, run little filters in those stacks, and, and yeah. uh, for the little bit that I've driven it. And again, guys, the reason it hasn't been driven is the car is going to SEMA. It is going to do some shows here and there, and we've just been so busy at the shop, yeah, trying to get everything done. We, I just haven't had a whole lot of time to. Uh, well, you're taking ten damn cars to. Nine, see. nine, nine. Oh, 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 you didn't hit your goal <laughs> yeah, of 10, huh? My, yeah. I mean, holy crap, dude. Yeah, that's and, a, and they're all. That's a decade for some builders. Yes, and, and, I mean, and those nine are all on the level of this or the Roadrunner. Not just nine cars, but nine high end cars. Yeah, none of them are just like do some bolt on suspension no. and no, some they're... headers and call it a day. <laughs> yeah. No, you're doing, I, I yep. get it, bro. Before we started yep. shooting, you were showing me yep. how you made the molds. Yeah. It's kind of crude how you do that. Yeah, it, uh, you know, we, we cut the fenders off the car at the body line and we uh, hot glued some shaping foam to it and shaped and shaped and shaped. And a couple hours later, we had the shape. George came in and was like, I can love it. It's modern, it's Batmobile, it's old school. It's, you know, so that's kind of the, where we were going. The tonality of the C2 vet is still here. And then from you know, the so. mold, do you pull in fiberglass yeah, so, or carbon? Uh, we, this is all fiberglass. This yeah. entire car is fiberglass, yeah. um, besides the bumpers. And to be, to be honest, man, the, the glass work came out so clean on this thing. Oh, it's beautiful. Um, and, it, and it was a nice car. Do you guys do your own fiberglass too? Oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, there's nothing we don't do. You guys don't right. outsource, no, huh? Nothing. That's uh, so wild. Motor bro. and trans, you know, parts. But other than that, we... fabrication, paint, body, yep. wiring, interior, all the Glass. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. How far out did you so come? So we we brought the fronts out five inches. <laughs> the rears are seven inches <laughs> out further than factory. Yeah, that's so crazy, dude. So, that's um, so wild. And, and the only other thing we did is we we did have to do a little bit of work to the bumpers to make it kind of match and, and uh, flow, flow into the fenders front and rear. And just keeping the body line sharp and you know everything lined up, just clean. We, I mean, we kept the original trim around the windows. Typically yeah. on builds, flush mount, we flush right? mount. And, mm -hmm. and uh, mm -hmm. on this one, he, he didn't want to do flush mount. He's like, dude, I, I want trim, but I want it black. Tell so. you, dude, I'm starting to more and more enjoy seeing old elements that our eye got used to. We moved away from right. them. And, and they're coming back. It was always drip rails gone. Huh. Yep. Now it's drip rails shadowed, was, right? Yeah. I, we, How we about do a lot door handles? It got way Wait. away from door handles. <laughs> yeah. Now we're back, back to, to door handles. Yeah. Don't want the original ones, but just paint them. <laughs> Those handles are just powder coated. You know, we got rid of the locks because the locks on these cars are freaking ugly. And we try to keep the side of the car smooth and just try to yeah. keep, you know, and everything being blacked out, right? The side pipes. So this is how much I haven't looked at the car before, yeah. dude. You guys don't laugh at me about this, but I literally don't look at cars when I know we're gonna shoot them. I never noticed that it had side, side pipes. pipes. They yeah. hide so good because of yeah. the black. Yeah, we just blacked everything out and runs three inch stainless. It's it's open header. There, there are no mufflers on the car. Really? Uh, yeah, let's fuck. It's a big block Chevy. You know? It's a big block Chevy with a with a good size cam shaft it. in it. I wanna hear it. I love it. So this car, it's not like the one you're gonna get in and drive from Vegas to LA. You know, we, we named the car Nighthawk. Look at from the back of this thing. Just look, I mean, I love the shape. No, I do of this too. Thing, it's sexy, yeah. man. Body lines are sharp, gaps are, are typical, you know, little less than an eighth inch. Super spot know? on, yeah. Um, yeah. See, even this, clean. dude, the, to leave wing the wind wing. Yeah. yeah, I like that. Trim around the windshield. Yeah. The side vents, 67 side vents, 65s are a little bit different. Hopping into the interior. We decided to do a full carbon interior on this thing. This is wild. Yeah. The seats are factory. The pedals so are factory. So these are stock, stock seats. Corvette 65 yeah, seats. All we did was literally put new springs and new foam in the seats. 
and of course, oh my God. And, and, and did it, you know? Yeah, I feel like yeah. you're super crammed in here. Like, I don't want to drive this. I know. When I get back So home, what do you do? Cut down the foam just, then? Yeah. Resh- reshape the seat. I'll get the uh-huh. seat to come back about four inches. Nice. Look you how can, thick this is, dude. I, as it's I was nuts. getting in, I was like, gee, how's this going to work out yeah. here? But um, boy, the carbon's wild, brother. We tried to do something a little bit different, and the carbon thing's super hot right now. So I was like, yeah, why not, man? Let's build a dash and carbon wild. it. And, and uh Alcantara on the roof, Alcantara in the centers of the seats. Yeah. Uh, and if you look at the centers of the seats, like real close to the Alcantara. The pattern in yeah, there. Yeah, the pattern's a little stingrays. Bitchin', I like how you brought the gold back into your stitching here on the seats. Yeah, the little gold stingray Teeny in the little center. Eye. You yeah. got a little yeah. bit of gold in the back through the rear sub grill. George likes his music, Bumping, right? Huh? So it's got a lot of music in it. I just want to ignition on just yeah, to yeah. see your gauges light yeah, up. Yeah, Dakota Digitals. Yeah. You use we, them a lot, don't you? Yeah, we do. Dakota Digitals, Holly. They're great companies. They're, they're, they're great companies, yeah. I mean, and they, and they make good looking stuff. Yeah, it's a. Because your seat's all the way back right now, right? Yeah, seat is, <laughs> seat, seat, seat is all the way back. Yeah, that's that's almost how you feel. But uh, yeah, but I get it. It's yeah. too, I mean, look, dude, it's at the pace you guys are building at right now. If you only had to deal with a couple of cars, it'd be one thing, right? Yeah. So I, I and, get and it. And again, dude, this car was finished in March. And from that point, I've been so focused on finishing eight other cars for SEMA. Like this thing got done and literally George still to this day has not driven it, sat in it, or seen it. He hasn't even seen now, this car in person. pictures, pictures. He's like, just when it's 100%, bring it to me. So right after SEMA, I'll take care of all the little stuff. I get and, it. And look, every every shop knows, right? And every guy that does this, we know like the last 20% of all the fine detail. It takes the longest, Takes right? the longest. And it's the hardest. Yeah. You know, to be honest, other than the seat situation, as far as being a little too close, I mean, if you were five, six or whatever, you'd be good. You'd be but, fine. <laughs> Not like a knock, right? You can look in here and go, something just, I was yeah. about to ask Dude. you, what are these seats out of? Yeah. They looked like they're out of like a Cadillac or something. No, like, no, they're factory seats <laughs> An old too. Cadillac, you yeah, know? That, I mean, so these things, the clamshells in the back, the, those come factory plastic. All we did was pop a mold off the plastic off in of carbon. There. So and, it's and still put, the original put, piece, dude, just carbon. One hundred percent original yeah. seats in the car. Original yeah. seat sliders. Well, we bought new ones, but they're C two, right? So will he leave it mirror free, or when you guys start driving, will you add mirrors? <laughs> at the shop right now, we have a set of Carbon Ring Brothers sitting on my bench at the shop. The car hasn't been back to the shop since uh, it's been at Fight Tech. Their new product product on there that's uh, releasing at SEMA. God, they've been, okay, they've been cool. doing their R&D with this car. They've had it on the dyno and I haven't got it back. Before it goes to SEMA, like it'll have in, in on nine it. days, it'll, uh, have it'll have the mirrors on it. With their carbon mirror, it'll match interior it'll bumpers. Go it, it'll go perfect. Perfectly. This will debut in Fitex booth. Nice. And uh, yeah, we have another one in their booth as well, 56 F100. Yeah, you got a bunch going on at SEMA, dude. Yeah. It's be hard to keep up with you. Well, I'll tell you what, we'll do the camera thing and we'll go do the drive thing. Yeah, let's do it. It's a dust blower, isn't it? Yeah, dude? well, yeah, dude, it's, it's terrible. I bet, <laughs> I, I, I bet the back wheels are just fucking loaded, dude. Oh, look at, dude, look how yeah. much sand and dirt is on top of the car now. Wow. That's clutch shatter. What's that from? Brand new clutch. That's all it is. It's just huh? got to be broken in, yeah. Got it. How many miles are on this right now? Do you know? I would say 200. Okay, got Roughly. You. The sound of this. Yeah, a big clock shatter. It's just that big block sound, that rumble. Plus the cam you got in it. But damn, it feels really nice already. That's just, tight, right? Yeah. I mean, that Art Morrison chassis is amazing. Especially running, you know, a 335 on the front, 355 on the rear. You got a lot of tire on the ground. And full Gosh, box to box steering. Full on, huh? With zero rub. Tires have more sidewalls. Well, Seems like it makes the car a little smoother, smoother on the yeah. road, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's on strange engineering coilovers. Whoa! That was a big backfire pop. Yeah, that yeah. was sweet. <laughs> yeah, dude. Who's shooting yeah. at us, man? <laughs> Sorry, are these speakers? Tweeters. They are speakers. Tweeters integrated in there. And carbon dash. 
carbon center console, little little storage back oh, there sweet, for your dude. detail spray yeah. and rags and carbon back panel. Yeah, man. I mean, yeah, we should dial these seats in, right? You got yeah, a total. Dude. Let's go yeah. drive it, car. Hundred percent, right? The seats will be dialed because I'll be the one driving it the most, right? So I'll be driving it, working all the kinks and getting these seats right, doing all the shit. Yeah. You know? To be honest, man, uh, since the car since the car's been built, I've really had zero mechanical issue. Other, yeah. than, other than just taking it to Vitek and having it tuned. Other than that, I mean, which was something that technically is out of your hands because there was something yeah, not new, done. Well, new product, right? right? New product. They didn't know how it was going to react. And I think it's idling. I mean, for an independent throttle body setup, which a lot of people don't know, on an ITV, each individual cylinder has its own fuel and air. No, they're not linked together like in a LS where the the intake it all sucks you know air from and feeds all eight right no, these suck individually right and on a big block chevy you know they're hard to get tuned and it, it i think it's idling great what uh man it's wow yeah. what did you what did you gear the rear end in this uh 373 i always say you can never make an ls sound like a big block chevy you just can't do it and i built a million cars with LS's in it. I know. No, I know you have, but there's... Now, this is the first big block I've done in probably 10 years. Really? Yeah. Yeah. So everything else has been more modern. Yeah, LS modern. or 5.0. Yeah. Man, drive was nice. Yeah, it's funny with these big, huge tires on here. You can feel it grab the little... Yeah, the tra yeah, tracking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's going to, right? You got yeah. a lot of contact pads, 14 right? 14 inches in the rear and 12 and a half in the front or whatever it is. Yeah, it's wild, man. Yeah. When cars are really good, I start nitpicking things. Because when they're a little bit of a basket case, what are you going to nitpick, dude? There's a bunch of shit that needs to be yeah, dealt yeah, with. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Literally, so far, the only thing I can come up with on this car that's nitpickable, but it's not because we've already talked about it. Oops, the seats are a little thin. Yeah, yeah, and, and what's, like, it's so weird, dude. I ordered from Corvette Central the factory foam and the factory springs. I have. 
not yet, you know. This is one we go over on the channel a lot. For a car that I'm personally going to drive down the road, I want that range of like where this is at. I just know I can map the throttle and it's, you know, if I'm yeah. dead nuts straight. You're going straight. It ain't getting yeah. away from me. Yeah. It's not going to do something and, unpredictable. Hey, 500 horsepower is fun, right? It's fun power. It's fun. It is. on the road, the power I like. I'm in love with the sounds, obviously. Yeah. I keep giggling over yeah. here. The car feels tight, you know? Tight is good. It does. I swear to God, if I drove this all day, all I'd want to do is get on it so I could lift <laughs> up. <laughs> So stoked we finally got to shoot that Corvette, man. I've been looking forward to this one ever since I saw it at Good Guys Del Mar. You know, you've seen Dustin Nostalgia Hot Rods on the channel before. You'll see him again. I really like what he does. I like that some of his cars are very extreme. Some of them aren't. They're all drivers. They're all beautiful. And I absolutely love getting the opportunity to drive that big block. Couldn't get enough of that D-cell pop sound, man. It was awesome. So I hope you guys enjoyed this one. More to come from Dustin. And thanks as always for hanging and watching what we do, you guys. I'll see you in the next one. All right, man. Later.